I said any other dreams you remember or any other situation where I where you feel anxiety and he says well I feel pressure till the work is done. Once my work is done, I feel relaxed. I said, you said that when you feel scared, you cover yourself up and lie down. I said, why did you cover yourself? He says, I just take a blanket to hide myself and to lie down. I feel there is someone out there. So, I would peep from under the blanket to look if there is somebody, then I would go to sleep again. I want to hide myself and sleep. What means hide? Hide means to get away from that situation. Then I feel I have saved myself. I said, how much do you perspire? He says, I sweat a lot and it has also bad smell. It has the sweetish smell. Even my urine smells sweetish. I said, what is the most tense situation in your life? He said, it is after the marriage when my wife came. That was very, very difficult situation because everybody was disturbed. Suppose attempted suicide, then there is a court case, we will all be in trouble. Everybody could go to jail because of that. That was the fear. So, I had to take a lot of steps in this situation. I said, what did you feel? I felt scared in the body. I felt weakness. And when I have too much stress, I feel hot everywhere as if heat is coming out from the ears. My face becomes reddish and warm. My facial expressions change. My friends tell me that when you are excited, when you are angry, you become red and blue. Similarly, in my college situation, what happened then? I used to be very scared of my senior colleagues because they used to beat us up. Then I would withdraw myself and hide myself so that I do not come in their sight. Then I feel nothing will happen to me. I wanted to hide away from my teachers also so that I do not come in their sight. What if they ask me some questions I am not able to answer? Out of this fear, I would go and hide myself. So, this is the story, this is the whole case finished. Then I ask him, we will start your medicine, you will be much better, you can get completely all right, your painkiller requirement will drop. Slowly you will need painkiller only once in one month, two months, three months and then you will not need it at all. He said, okay sir, thank you. Now, this patient has been to other homeopaths also and has tried medication, but no success. This is the case. What to do? I narrated the whole case to you from beginning to end, every word of the case and I explain you at every point, how to think, how to ask, how to make mistake, how to not make mistake, etcetera. Now, we will learn how to analyze this case. Any suggestion? <coughs> 